All right, guys, welcome back. We're out here this morning uh, getting the sprayer ready. The guys are pulling the tips out. Uh, we're going through here and cleaning all the tips. Here's one, guys, y'all left. But they're pulling all the tips out. I'm gonna get the tips cleaned. Uh, there's two sets. Uh, most of the time I use two tips for this Exactify system. I normally use the front tip and the back tip. They alternate between each other. Get you a little better coverage, but uh, yeah. We're gonna get the tips cleaned and uh, maybe go do some burn down late this evening. I don't know. I gotta go down here in a little bit and speak at the Rotary Club, like I said before, and it uh, won't take me long. And we may load up a load and see if we can go put some burn down out. But uh, I know uh, there's a little bit of chicken litter being sprayed in the area. There's some burn down going out in the area. Uh, there's 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 some field work starting to happen here, but it's uh, it's still super wet, super muddy. Uh, they're they're not really doing any field work, but they are spreading litter and doing burn down. They're not doing any field work, but got a crane over there at the gin. Uh, they're removing a bunch of that equipment over there. Like I said, uh, they're rebuilding the gin this year. So that's Aaron's deal, not mine. But big undertaking going on over at the gym. Big undertaking. But we did get our vise finished up this morning. Turned out really, really good. But it is a beautiful, beautiful day out here today. I know my brother-in-law, he's, he's, he's probably gonna get some burn down out this week too. I just got through talking with him a few minutes. Uh, they're trying to spread some chicken litter. And here is the vice. Look really, really good. Rain, Friday. Yep. Rain again Friday. But that's what we're doing today. I'm gonna get this sprayer ready to go, get it fueled up, get it daft up, and uh, ready to ready to go. So y'all stay with us, cause uh, here we go. We're ready to go. Crop 24. This is where it starts. All right, guys, we made it down here to Fevel, which is right below me. Uh, we're here at Shoney's Restaurant. Uh, I've got to speak for the Rotary Club here in just a few minutes. I don't know if I'll be able to get any of it on film, but I'll try to get some at least and uh, go in here and meet Don Counts. He's the one that asked me to speak. And uh, they just wanted me to speak about YouTube today. How how, how I added it YouTube into the farm as a, another way of income. They just wanted a, wanted a farmer, a uh, local farmer here in town that... Uh, you know young farmer that uh just got started and they wanted me because of the youtube channel they want to know more about the youtube so that's what we're gonna do we're gonna go in here and we're gonna speak on youtube and how we got started and uh yeah just the things we do on our farm so let's let's get out I'll go in here and see if we can find don counts yeah. all right guys so we ended up uh Thank you, appreciate it. And uh, when you were telling us about the uh, fertilized content, yeah. sodium, Eric. you know, hold it down to get hurt. You know, <laughs> Bye, hon. When you wanted to ruin a country's land, yeah. what did you do? Yeah, salt. You sold it? Salt. Salt. Yeah, yeah. Growing up. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you all for. Thank you so much for inviting me. Thank you. Appreciate it. Good. Time, uh, Eric told me you. So, all right, guys, I'm here. Don is the one that invited me here uh, to speak. And Don, thank you so thank much you. for inviting me to come to the road. Never been to a rotary. Uh, 
You Thank ain't got time for rotor. Well, <laughs> I got time for anything. I, that's what somebody asked. Well, Aaron said, you gonna take the time? I mean, y'all need to be burning down. I said, Aaron, that's who I am. I had to take the time now. Absolutely. And uh, Thank you. we, we I, I love talking to people. I love telling them my story. I don't never have enough time to tell them all of it. And to really understand it, you have to understand all of it. Yep. Because, you know, you asked me how the guy was growing 600 bushel corn. Yeah. We, every step I take, Don, I, I never guess. I've already thought about that step and the repercussion of that step. It's kind of like playing chess. That's right. Uh, we, we micromanage everything down to as simple as I test the water. I mean, I don't want any chlorides in my water. Right. Chlorides will actually kill biology. Sure. Uh, it's just like biology. Yeah. Biology is a wild, wild west in our industry right now. Right. Everybody has a biology. Right. And it's hard to weed out fact from fiction, but yep. I understand biology yeah. and uh, understand science and understand chemistry and, you know, we keep our cost per acre down and uh, the guy that had the 600 bushel, he's been in this game a long time. He's, uh, he's got it figured out. He's got it figured out uh, how to manipulate all this down and, and, and do it uh he may be hanging two years on the stock sure or, or we're hanging one but anyhow well i won't say the federal rotary club of peach appreciates eric for being here today he's a good speaker you should get him to come to your club organization because uh he's got some very good information i appreciate what he does in our hometown and taking care of uh, the farmland and uh keeping the tradition going yeah yeah and that y'all know i'm big about in my community uh i care for my community i care for my my county uh i do a lot of stuff that's silent i don't want any recognition but you know we give to the school we give to the ffa we give to several organizations and uh this is my hometown uh I grew up here all my life this is this is my people and uh, i love to support my community and uh, again, Don, just thank you for asking me to come. Thank you for all you do. All right, guys, we went to spray, and we've got a busted fitting right there. She's busted open like a cow's cock. So we're going to try to get this fixed right quick. Oh. Pablo didn't drain it. Uh oh, big one, big hole. Y'all seen it on video. Remember? <laughs> nah, Pablo wasn't even here when I drained it. It's Migo's fault. Oh. Ah, and he's speaking no English. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> ah, it's, it ain't no kidding. It's crazy the force of water, ain't it? Yeah. It busted her wide open. 
Oh well, today's shot to hell anyhow, so I had to go speak and then come back and I got a funeral to go to here in just a little while, so ain't like we're gonna get much done today anyhow. Is it? All right, we're gonna see if we can get this sprayer filled up. Take two. Well, all right, guys, we're just finally able to get some burn down out. Uh, it's still plenty wet. We're over here at the mountain trying to get this burned down. We're trying to get all the corn ground burnt down, which is about 500 acres. We're going to get it burnt down, try to get it all completed up before the rain. Um, then we're going to jump over on the cotton ground, go ahead and get it burnt down, but it is still very wet. Uh, sprayers cutting, cutting rack, cutting racks cutting ruts here and there we're tracking it up here and there but uh as y'all can see i didn't do a fall burn down so we have a lot of filth coming so uh we're trying to get this filth off of here and start off clean but i didn't do a fall burn down because we got so late with the cotton harvest and we ran out of time i was trying to get the equipment cleaned up before it got cold um I probably should have done one, but I didn't. But Pablo and Amigo are doing just fine. They're having to learn, learn these farms. Uh, and learn where to meet me out next. But it ain't no big deal. They'll, they'll learn them and we'll get it. We always do. We ain't never missed a crop. We're not gonna start now. But this is the mountain farm. This is the one me and Aaron own together. Uh, good farm, highly productive. And uh, there'll be an NCTA entry over here. Probably somewhere along in this bottom right here is where we normally pull it, or over there in that backfield, over there somewhere. Just depends, but y'all can see how much water's still out here. Uh, I've got to get this farm fixed. We're going to tile all this right here, but we've got to get this. Uh, we got to be get a big sub main put in here in order for it to tile. Y'all see this drainage ditch that runs up through here goes all the way to that mountain up there and um, we're gonna have to put a big sub main in there to catch that water that's coming off this mountain and y'all can see this ditch here now y'all see how deep it is there is a hell of a lot of water that comes off that mountain right there We didn't really do much tonight. We got the switch panel in. Got it all off of the twisted wires. Right now, first one, flip the ignition, flip the trans cooler on. We really don't know what that one is. Then you got your fuel pump, 
that you push that and it'll turn that starter over. Don't mind the USB and the cigarette lighter, that's all coming out. New air filter. Well, that's about it. Painted it yesterday. Got rid of all the black on it. Or at least a flat black. Put some shiny black on it. Some blue. Other than that, it's almost ready. All we gotta do now is pull the transmission, put the torque converter in it, and bend this A-arm out right over here. This, uh, as you can see, the, the camber on the tire is pretty, pretty significant. So that top is bent right about here. We're gonna take it off, heat it up, bend it. That's about it. I also got a new fuel pump. That's, that's about it. In the car right now. On the fresh car. We got it running. But found out I had a hole in the side of the block. So we're at a halt on that one right now. Probably going to try to JB weld it. Or... We got another motor we're gonna put in it. <clears throat> All right, we'll see you on the next update. Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to the channel. It is a cold, cold morning this morning. It was cold this morning, wasn't it, Miko? Yeah. <laughs> it's a beautiful day, but she was frosty this morning. We got the sprayer out there idling. We're gonna go do some burn down again today. Uh, Pablo's around there filling the water truck up. And Amigo is gonna try to mow the yard today. Uh, the yard is getting out of control. So we're gonna try to, I'm gonna leave him to here today and he's gonna mow the yard and uh, blow the sidewalks off and all that good stuff. So we're gonna, Go try to get this burn down finished and let him mow this yard and clean this mess up around here. But, uh, hadn't been much going on. Uh, this is a Tuesday. Uh, let's see what today's date is. March the 19th. So I hadn't picked the camera up in about three or four days because there ain't been much going on, guys. I mean, nothing. Uh, well, I actually let the guys off yesterday because it was just there wasn't anything to do i mean we we just kind of in a lull uh waiting it's was super wet here so uh we're gonna try to get this burn down finished and uh yeah i had a had an interesting talk last night with a gentleman here in the area his name's daniel gray uh i'm gonna help him a little bit this year try to improve his corn yields uh also had a couple more guys message me last night and i walked them through a program so uh yeah um, apparently the channel is working that's the whole reason i created this channel was to try to help people uh i'm not secretive with this stuff if you ask for help i'll give you help i'm not holding anything back on this uh I, this uh, like i said this whole reason i started this channel was to help people and i think we're starting to make a difference and uh i'm giving all this information out freely it isn't costing you nothing you just need to tell your friends about the channel subscribe to the channel and uh help us grow this channel because uh that's what this channel is about is paying it forward and that's exactly what i'm gonna do uh the gentleman even brought me his soil samples he, he accidentally left them here last night but there's his soil samples we went over them. We went over the planter. Uh, he's gonna put some men fur on his planter and get his planter set up. We went over parallel arms. We went over closing wheels. We went over gauge wheel settings. I mean, we went over a lot last night. I'll stay out here at 1030. But I don't mind helping people as long as they will listen and be very attentive to uh, what I'm trying to say because I'm not wasting my breath. And uh, I value my breath 
pretty valuable. Yeah, love helping people. Uh, fills my heart with joy. So, if you're out there in this world and you need help and you're willing to work for it, hit me up. I'll help you all I can, I promise you. But, uh, you think you can drive this thing, Dave Mingo? Yeah. Maybe. Tal vez no. No sé mucho, pero vamos a intentarlo. Vamos a practicar un poco en la parte de enfrente. Después, lo más difícil lo vamos a dejar a lo último para ir tomando práctica y hagamos bien el trabajo para que todo salga good. <laughs> he's, uh, he basically said he's going to do a little practicing before he goes out there. He has never drove a zero turn, but hey, I know he can do it. Let him do it. So. He's out here watching a YouTube video on how to run a John Deere lawnmower. But he'll figure it out. I mean, that's all you can do. Put them in the fire and they either sink or swim. So, uh, yeah, John Deere did come out and they put a brand new seat in the 8RX. There's the old one. Uh, reason being, the auto steer was kicking on and off, on and off. It couldn't sense you being in the seat and uh there was a pip on it and uh john deere come out and put a new seat in the rx hope it fixes that problem because last year i was sitting on rags trying to make the auto steer work but appreciate tri green doing that uh i know i, I don't know if y'all know this or not but i buy these tractors out of texas or maybe back up i lease these tractors out of texas they are new tractors uh, Texas called Tri Green and asked them if they would do this pip on it and Tri Green done it and I appreciate Tri Green doing that even though I bought it through another dealer but we got that fixed I mean it's crazy what's all on the seat there's a fan on this seat heated cooling it's crazy ain't no telling what that little seat cushion cost don't even want to know which i didn't have to pay for it it was warranty work but still you got it filled up yeah filled up. he's filled up ready to go but owen's got his uh derby car about ready uh, like i said this is a uh, one owner lady lady driven but He's been, him and his friends been working on this thing. They've been working on it for, well, ever since he got it, every single night. They've been over here working on this thing. And uh, they about got it ready to go. The other one he bought ended up having a hole in the block on the motor. So we're going to have to put a motor in that car for this fall. But he's going to run this one right here next month. And uh, looking forward to it. And... I know I've had a lot of people reach out already wanting to help me sponsor it. And uh, I appreciate each and every one of y'all. Uh, Extreme Mags is one of them. Uh, Chad Perkins is one of them. Uh, Jake Brzezette is one of them. But if you want to sponsor Owen and his derby car, you hit me up and uh, we'll slap your name on it. He'll be glad to take whatever donation you want to give i promise you he, he just he and he he's been working very very hard on this car guys i'm telling you he has been on it like a cat on a scratch pole and i'm proud of him for doing it he's done every bit of it himself and uh but he's he come in here and he total totally rewired it got him a bunch of switches up here got all his wiring up here nice and neat and it all works he slapped a new paint job on her. <laughs> he's done some work to the motor. But he's done every bit of it, it's him and his friends, his, their selves. I mean, he's, he's, he's done a lot of work to her. He left me a note too. He said, car was not painted near your trucks. <laughs> he knows how I feel about that, so. started burning down we're over here on the ridge and y'all can see <laughs> this old place is steep this is a 
This is a steep old farm right here. But we should get down when they're burned down today. Um, we don't like much, just always out here on the ridge. All you guys up there in Iowa, we got all them big farms and fields, y'all ought to be appreciative. You look what I gotta go through. We're going through the holler. Yeah. That's how you access some of these fields over here on these ridges. You got to go through the holler to get to them. And the camera don't do this justice right here. She is steep. Pablo made it back. Everybody's been worried how they're doing. They're doing good on the water wagon, guys. But they've done real good and like I said amigo he's at the house cutting the grass because the yard looks like death eating a cracker it's growing up but we're gonna go right over here and we're gonna cross the levee get to this other field They finally got their pond full of water. They dammed this holler up right here. Y'all can see what it was. They dammed this holler up and built this pond. Looks real good now. It, it don't hardly hold water. It's, it's a real gravelly. But they've been working on it. All these farms out here on 121, they're nothing but ridge tops. That's it. And uh, this farm here belongs to Davy Ashley, the guy that the gentleman that owns the sawmill there next to my house. He owns uh, two of these farms that we're on out here. They buy a lot of farmland and they, they buy it for the timber and uh, cut the timber off of it and then rent the farmland out. And then I work most of it. So. Real good neighbors and I appreciate them. But we're still burning down with Roundup, Sharpen, and Lead Off. Simple, simple mix. We got some MSO in there for the Sharpen. Sharpen really needs the MSO to work correctly. But we're going to get over here and sit and simple keep knocking us out and keep knocking Pablo off the fence over here. Alright, guys, we over here at Hotel Road. We finally got into some good smooth running. Wide open fields. It's still muddy. But we're trying to get this burn down out. What we're running has to be out in front of the planter about 30 days, 30 to 40 days. This lead off does. But like I said, uh, we've crowded it before. We don't like doing it, but we like to get it out in front of it as far as we can. That's where we don't have no injury. But this, I can't remember if this is going back in cotton or if it's going in corn. One of the two, I can't remember. But we like this farm. 26 acres up here, Miss Pam Weeks's. And then I like uh, East North Cemetery, and that should have all the ground burnt down that we're going to burn down. Then we're going to start some tillage. Because it is time. Uh, I talked to my cousin Cody a while ago about the chicken litter. He spreads all my chicken litter for me. That's all he does. He spreads chicken litter for a living. And uh, he's going to start spreading on me today or tomorrow. Either one. I told him which one he wanted to do. But uh, we're going to get the chicken litter started and uh, start prepping this corn ground. Look, we're going to have a pretty good spell of weather here. We need it because y'all can see she's super wet. It's muddy, but we're going to get this burn down out. All 
Alright guys, we got back to shop and got everything fueled up and ready for tomorrow. Chicken litter spreader is running. Uh, I'm in the Peterbilt. We're going to go load up a load of corn so Jack Daniels can make some whiskey. We're going to go haul a couple loads off tonight. Uh, they've offered a pretty good premium on it, so away we go. see it right here and we know when to pull up that's the best money I ever spent was that camera but we're gonna get a load loaded up head towards Jack so we're gonna I'm probably haul a couple loads off tonight I got a 12,000 bushel contract with them right now we're gonna get that filled and get on some tillage i'm glad my chicken litter guys he's running so that's good we're pressing forward now guys stay with us 